Hi, welcome to Ask the Expert. Uh, today's topic is uh, RPO, Recruitment Process Outsourcing. And I'm joined by uh, two of the industry's uh, leading experts. To my immediate left is uh, Phil Stewart. Phil heads up uh, Connex's RPO business. And to the far left, uh, Harry Baca, who's a director at uh, TPI, a leading advisor in the space. Good day, gentlemen. Thanks Appreciate for you time. taking the time. So let's start with uh, trends, Harry, and I'll start uh, with you. What can you share with us as far as uh, some of the hot trends with regard to RPO in uh, 2010? Sure. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Um, really looking at the coming out of 2010, going into 2011, 2010 was a very interesting year. Really um, saw a lot of activity around recruitment process outsourcing. In particular, a lot of focus from organizations having very niche or specialty hiring needs and really looking at recruitment process outsourcing as a way to fill those needs. You know, coming out of 2009 where they were by and large not doing a lot of hiring and in many cases were laying off going into 2010 then suddenly having you know, very strong needs in particular positions and having to react to that and fill those needs by uh, leveraging a solution. Okay. Phil, what are you seeing out there within your client base? Yeah, there's a couple different ways that our clients have been coming to us. One is where Hari mentioned that, that there's a business driving need to go ahead and put resources in place. The, the difficult decision is how do they do that? How do they break those segments up, whether it's a temp to perm, are they going to use uh, contingent workforces? full-time uh, employment, what, how are they going to do the makeup for those? And then many of the drivers are globally. You know, they're looking at global expansions of their business. So we've really been coming at us in different ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, everyone I talk to in the space, Ari, is, is busy. There's a lot going on. So what, what do you attribute the, uh, the, the, the sudden growth, if you will, that, the, that, uh, that we're all seeing in, the, in this space? I think a lot of it is pent-up demand. I think that in 2009, it was almost like a deer in the headlights effect for almost every organization with the economy and the, and the global economy and the way it collapsed. And I think in 2010, everyone kind of got their feet again. I think we're seeing a lot of demand to start projects again. People are really looking to do some things that they postponed because they were reacting to the global economy and they really have resource needs now. They need to fill those needs so that they can start really moving forward for the future. Mm -hmm. And the resource needs are, are have constraints. You know, the, the, the funds that were there before aren't there, so they have to be creative of how they still bring a quality hire to the organization at a price that makes sense for the for the company. Mm -hmm. Are you Phil, are you seeing any um, pockets of activity? Are you seeing it uh, kind of across the board or within uh, certain verticals? Uh, you know, it, it's really across the board. We, our portfolio has been expanded across from life sciences to manufacturing uh, to IT services. So we really haven't seen one segment really explode yet. It's, it's just uh, the pent-up demand has been released and they have to be thoughtful about strategically how they're going to meet those needs. Okay, so here we are, uh, you know, first quarter, back into first quarter 2011. What do you see looking forward? I think we're going to see even more than just an, especially niche hiring or, or trying to address project needs. I think we're going to see actually more hiring moving in the higher uh, and non-exempt, lower end exempt range. I think we'll start to see normal hiring volumes come back. I don't know that there'll be a pre-recession levels, but I think we'll see a lot more consistency in the level of volumes that, that you could expect to have. And, and really across the verticals, like Phil was saying, we aren't seeing any particular vertical that's stronger than another. I think it's fairly consistent across the board. Mm -hmm. And how, I mean, you're, you're busy as all heck, uh, Phil, you and your team. Is it, uh, is it primarily existing clients just growing, you know, responding to the, uh, reacting to, the, uh, to the, the new economy, if you will? Uh, or are you seeing a bunch of new business, or is it a little bit of both? A little bit of, a little bit of both, and um, it's really some of our clients have taken a step back. How are we going to grow as a company? So new product lines, bringing up their current business lines, but also thinking about where they can go in, across the globe to grow their business. So that's really changed what we do. Okay, fine. So, uh, so I appreciate it. And uh, I guess if I had to net it out, there's a lot of pent-up demand mm -hmm. um, and people are really gearing up for, for growth uh, going forward. So it should be an interesting, interesting year. We're Thank excited. you both. Yeah, absolutely.